I'm Katie Barber and this is your key light tutorial with After Effects software. We're going to go ahead and open Adobe After Effects CS4. First thing you want to do is import your green screen footage. The easiest way to do that is Command I on a Mac, uh, otherwise just go to File, Import File, and just bring up your green screen footage. This is just some footage I had from last semester. And as you can see, it pops up in your project tab. And the next thing you want to do is either drag it to your composition tab or drag it straight down to the timeline. Either way, it shows up in your composition tab. Next thing you want to do is import your background image. You can either import a video file or, or a still image. Um, what I'm going to do is import a still image just because it's easier to work with. Okay, as you can see, it pops up in your project tab as well. In order to get it behind your green screen footage, you want to drag it to the timeline, place it underneath your green screen footage. So your green screen footage is number one, and your background image is number two in the timeline. As you can see, it pops up behind your green screen footage in a wireframe. As you can see, mine is much smaller than my green screen footage, so I just want to stretch it out. Just grab the corner, pull it out to the edges. Boom. All right. The next thing I like to do is create a pin mask, and that eliminates a lot of the unnecessary footage around the subject, uh, makes it easier for the key light effect to work. So you just go up to the top, there's your toolbar, Select the pen tool. Start at the bottom. Just kind of go around the subject. Connect the dots. If you need to adjust it, go back to your selection tool and stretch it out. Pull it in move the dots, whatever you need to do. And as you can see, it eliminated a lot of the green screen footage, and that's just a lot of extra footage the key light doesn't need to key out. Next thing you want to do is apply the key light effect, and what you need to do is click on your green screen footage in the timeline, go to effects, keying, key light 1.2, or in your effects and presets tab, type in key light, pops up for you. Just drag it onto your subject. And the key light tab pops up in the left hand side. Next thing you need to do, um, or what I like to do, is adjust the screen pre blur. I set it to about 1.2, 1.3, um, and this just softens the edges around your subject. It just makes it a little cleaner. Then you click the eyedropper next to screen color and click the eyedropper close, pretty close to the subject. As you can see, the green screen is gone and you're left with just the subject in the background. Now, the next thing you want to do is you see the screen mat pull down and the view pull down menu where it says final result. Um, you just want to go to the screen mat view. And there's all these other different ways you can view your footage. Um, we're going to click screen mat for right now. And this shows you the green as black and the subject as white. You want to make sure that the black is really black and the white is really white. So under screen mat, you go to click black. Just make sure that your black is black. Go to clip white. Decrease that so that your subject is completely white, no gray areas. Gray areas indicate artifacting, which will make your subject or your background look a little pixelated, um, give you some weird results. Um, then you just want to go to final results. You can also click or unclick undo multiply result. And what this does is create a black halo around the subject. Um, kind of like 
like the green halo you would get with other Chroma King software, but it's black. Keep on pre multiply result click. So, this is what your image will look like. If you want to scrub through your timeline, just click on the current time indicator. It looks like a little yellow guitar pick, and drag it through. Um, to play it back a little better, just click preview, play. Should play pretty smoothly. See, my subject does not move out of where I put my pen tool. The edges are still a little bit weird. So, what what else you might want to do is go to screen shrink right here, and either shrink down your edges or expand them. If you expand them, eventually you get a gray shadow around the subject. You don't want that. Um, I actually like to shrink my edges a little bit. clean image. Next thing you want to do is save your project. Always, always, always save your project. Go to File, Save, or Command S. Uh, we'll just call this green screen. Save it to my FireWire. You're all set. And you can just exit out of After Effects. If you're using Adobe Premiere, I believe you can also directly import it. Um, it's a pretty easy process to import and export your footage between Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere.